Hey guys, how's it going? It's Friday vlog day. I actually kind of almost forgot and I wasn't, there's nothing in that bucket for you. Uh, I actually was kind of thinking about not vlogging today, but I don't think we have in a couple weeks. So uh, we got some stuff going on this weekend. I'll bring you guys along, show you what I'm getting ready for. There's nothing in that bucket, dude. There is nothing in there. Maybe some scraps from his soaked greens. But anyways, I got you hay. We're getting pigs tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so I got a whole bunch of stuff set up. So I kind of try and bring you guys along. <laughs> this horse is dragging me down. Try and bring you guys along and show you what we got going on today. Since I wasn't going to do a Friday vlog today, but now I am, it's already almost noon. The kids are going to be home any minute. They got a half day of school. And Jenny has our nephew, uh, Baby Riker, today again. So maybe I'll see some Baby Riker video. The kids are going to be super excited. Actually, only TJ is going to be home half a day. The other kids have a... Uh, oh, it is super windy out here. The other kids have a lock-in today. So they're actually... Even though it's a half day of school, they're going to be at school. They want, they wanted to go to the lock-in. So, oh well. Are you going to push it to me? What do you got, Bubba? Daddy? Get it. Are you going to get it? He saw me, so he'll see saw activity. <laughs> Are you playing catch? Awesome. Oof. Oh, boof. That was a little hard. I forgot last time you were here, you loved this ball. Yeah, he just spotted it and he was like, ah! Like, okay, come on, let's get it. Well, I told you guys he was here. I'm sure you'll see a lot of footage of him today. Come get me. Come get me. Oh. What a big boy. Almost, almost. Boom, you got me. Yay, you got Aunt Jenny. Oh my gosh, super windy out here, guys. Sorry about that. But I gotta get those feed bags down to the feed stall. Got my father-in-law's trailer here for a couple days. I gotta get some hay bales. Um, and that's where I'm sitting at, what I got to get done today. Along with putting a ton more sap and getting a bunch of other stuff going. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Jenny picked up a bunch of feed yesterday. We're going to get that thrown in down the feed stall. But, <clears throat> getting some piggies. Look at these stinking cute babies here. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw that we put on there. And these are the other babies. Uh, in fact, that's the one that had the leg issue originally. But just earlier, what, this week? Mama here popped these out. We didn't even fully realize she was pregnant. We kind of thought she looked pregnant. But we also kind of talked ourselves out of it because there's just... we, huh, we The boys have escaped quite a bit and all this and that. So we know that's what happened. But this would have had the babies. Our mama get pregnant at the end of October, and we don't remember the babies, or the, we don't remember the boys escaping at the end of October. Oh, look at those spots. What are you crying about? You want your mama? She's over that way. They're checking out all my feed bags. Look at this homemade syrup. Look how dark it is. We've never had it dark like this before. I mean, ours is always dark. We don't have that nice, pretty, super light syrup. Ours is always dark. But this year, holy moly, it is really dark. Can't even see through it. Of course, that's thick. Most of our syrup bottles are uh, a lot thinner, so holding up to the light looks a lot better than as thick as this mason jar. But what that means is my syrup is running, uh, instead of your typical like 40 to 1, 40 gallons of sap equals 1 gallon of syrup for really good sugar maple trees, our trees are running about 60 to 1. Alright, I took the fifth wheel hitch out of the truck. 
I'm gonna see if we get a hay bale in there as well. But I also got that board because I don't know if you can tell, but this dovetail is like half the trailer. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need to. We're only gonna put two bales on here, but we're gonna need to stop the one. We're gonna need to put a you know like a chalk block on it. Is what I'm thinking. Because I don't think I want to put two up there. I want to get them over the axle. We'll see how it goes. We're also getting a bunch of straw bales, I think. So, just gotta find some straps. That wasn't too bad taking it off. Weird look for the husband. The previous owners had told us that they had tried to get that hitch off before and they couldn't. Um, uh, it it kind of popped off for me. Sucker's heavy, but it popped off for me, so. <sighs> let's go get a hay range. I gotta call the guy, see if uh, he's even available right now for me to come get it. So, let's do that. So something else I gotta do is I gotta get some panels or something in the back of the truck. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day, but we're gonna have to go pick up the pigs from uh, the Ross Family Homestead. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram. But they wrangled up uh, some pigs from Tamworth for us. And tomorrow we are going to go pick them up. But uh, I'm not going to tow a trailer down. We're going to go about two hours to meet them. I'm just going to throw them in the back of the truck. But I need to put some panels up and stuff so they're not all, you know, I was going to say jumping out. But you know what I mean. Uh, so that's our thing. I don't know. Not going on. Last minute as always for me. All right. Here's to a slow ride home. These straw bales, I think, are gonna fall off. <laughs> oh well. I think we're looking good. Two for the horse, two for the pigs. Oh. Hi. Um, can I tell you something? Hmm. You forgot to get dressed before school today. Did I? You did. You're still in your pajamas. Mm -hmm. How did you go to school in your pajamas? Is that 22? Pajama day. You have a good day? Yeah. Was your lock-in fun? Yeah. All right, I next. I got so much toys. I got this, the picture. I got. What are you hiding from me? What do you got in there? Shark zone. That's pretty fitting for Andrew. This oh, got me. All right, I got more sap on the boiler. I'm just starting it. This is leftover from last night. Oh, I really should have cleaned these pans. Uh, I might do that. I might go ahead and do that. When that's done, dump that into there, and then I might go and do that. But fire's just getting going, so. Uh, there's always a problem right here with that crud building up. Uh, my little wind block. Keep the wind off the pans. So I, I'd like to do the same thing over here and get, stop using this sheet of plywood. But let's go check. Let's go check the buckets and see how much I, st I still need to collect. Generally speaking, we collect the sap every day. Sometimes a couple times a day. I have a feeling the sun's out, all that. I got a feeling a couple of these uh, uh, buckets are overflowing. How's it going, Andrew? Good. Riding your scooter in there? Yeah. Hey, should we show people what we got in there? Should we show people what we got in there? I think they can hear them. Maybe they can hear them. Let's go see. They're kind of freaking out because Andrew's in here riding his scooter. This is filthy in here. Living on the dirt road, I swear. Well, and our driveway's not a big help with it. I think I see the line on this one right there. Yep. Probably need to collect it. That is our most producing tree, so I kind of judge off that one. Yeah, there's some in that one. The ones down there are probably pretty full too, so I should go around and collect up sap. Once, once that fire's going good, I'll do that. Okay, I don't normally 
boil in this pan. You can see how nice and pretty it is. I actually had this one on the stove last night, um, bringing, uh, reducing the syrup even more. But what I'm gonna do for temporary, I think I'm gonna dump this front one, which does not get nearly as hot as the back one. I'm gonna dump the front one into here and keep it going warm. I'm gonna get that cleaned up really good. And then uh, I'm gonna probably put this one in the back and clean the back one up. I think that's my plan. I think that's what I'll do. All right, it might not look like it all that much, but I got them cleaned up. They do look a lot better. They're not flaking off in there like crazy, so that's awesome. Uh, here in a second, I will empty that into there. Go fill up that five gallon bucket with some more sap. And these hold five gallons a piece. Well, actually more, but five gallons is pretty full, but uh, yep. Something else I've been wanting to get on. I've got this whole bag of these frames here that uh, I had left this wax and they had gotten, um, what are they called? Uh, uh, gypsy moths? Wax, wax moths. Uh, kind of invaded it. So put them in the freezer for, I, I'll be honest, I forget how long. I, they were in the freezer a lot longer than what I read you should do it for. <laughs> But I've been wanting to get this cleaned off. So what I'm thinking about doing or trying is obviously tossing this. So I may be like cutting out this, but still trying to maybe save the wax that's on these. I mean, yeah, I'm like, or I really don't want to risk just leaving it because who knows what's still in it. Although, since it's been froze, it should be fine. But, yeah, look at this one. This whole one will probably get tossed. Because there's really no getting around it, I don't think. Unless you guys have a better idea. So, I think while the sap is going, I'm going to work on that as well. Yeah, look how much of a mess this is. And get these cleaned up because I'm going to be making some bee traps. Look how awful that one is. I don't know how well you can see that. Some bee traps here really soon. Swarm traps, I'm sorry. And we're going to start getting those put out soon. Guys, I don't think we've done one, but I was kind of doing a little Friday vlog today. We haven't done one in a while. Grace, look at me, Punky. You look so tired. So where have you been? It's like 7.30 and you're just now coming home from school. Because uh, we haven't been at school. Well, we... What? You haven't been at school? <coughs> <coughs> Um, we we were at school from eight to twelve. Then we had a lock in until I think three. Um, and then we went to friend's house for a couple of hours. Uh, what friend? Bea. Where did Punk go? Whose house did you go to? Did you have fun? Um, why are you just now getting home and pouting already? What what's that all about? Oh, kind of like Andrew has this paw. Well, did it wear off because you were playing so hard with Bella? Did you guys have fun? What did you do? We played games and we played that part of me went in the woods. Did you make her house look like a tornado went through? Okay. Did you have fun? Did you tell Bella I said hi? No. What? All right. Are you going to quit pouting? You, really, you know how I really dislike pouting. I mean, you got a cute pout and all. You kind of got the cute pout. Can you stick your lip out a little bit more? Like this, look. Can you, can you do, hey, but look, I got something really important to tell you, okay? Don't smile. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that, didn't you? <laughs> all right, what we got going on over here tonight? Attempting to get some seeds going. So... I'm working on kitchen garden and pig garden stuff, and then we'll do like our big mass tomatoes for canning. Yeah, that'll fill up a whole one of these, won't it? Yeah, or more. Yeah. Um, so we've got you know different tomatoes here, tomatillos, which we've never grown before, cauliflower and broccoli, and I'm getting ready to do this Washington asparagus that we just got in a seed swap. Oh, yeah. And these different cabbages. Nice. And that'll fill up this tray.
What happened? Jordan ripped it. Jordan, was she biting it? No, Georgie saw her playing tug of war with it. What? Yeah. Let me see it. That's you know what? I bet Faith can fix it. Or Mom. You can sew it or hack glue it. <laughs> the dogs were playing tug of war with this, babe. Yeah. They were really... oh, it's a fuzz ball. I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is easy. Oh, it's very wet though, so maybe I'll wait until it dries. <laughs> Grace, Grace, look at me. Are you happy to know Mom can fix it? Are you? Hey, come here. Are you pouting again? Okay, just remember, don't smile. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go head back out to uh, Sap some more, and I gotta finish up the pig area. Okay. And I wanna show these guys what we're gonna do with the pigs. Um. Okay. All right. I think I could go to bed right now. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like really early, but the kids could go to bed early. I could totally fall asleep and guaranteed I would sleep like 12 hours too. Don't sleep too long. We're getting pigs tomorrow. I know. Pigs! Guys, it is getting super late out. But I'm going to show you this little pig area that I'm getting set up here. Uh, and I'm going to shut this down and hopefully get this video uh, edited and uploaded to you guys. But... Getting pigs tomorrow, and so getting this little area set up on the back side of our workshop for them to be in temporarily, very temporarily, until uh, uh, we where they go, I don't have electricity, and I don't want to haul water every single day, so we're just waiting until it gets a little bit warmer, water's not freezing, so maybe a month or so they'll be in here, maybe, but here, let's take a look at it. We are going to separate the pigs right away. Uh, there's still stuff hanging. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I think it's up high enough. This is actually where we raised our very first two pigs uh, in the winter. They are in here. We had a whole big area set up outside for them. But So what we're doing is we're splitting them. We're going to have eight pigs on this side. It's a pretty good area. We're going to have two pigs on this side. These pigs are the ones that are going to get hay only. Hay and other stuff. These guys are going to be on full commercial feed like we always do. These eight pigs will probably get moved out before uh, the two pigs. And so the center divider will come down. The two pigs will have that whole area. But then I got this area out here for them. It's not much, but again, temporary. Very, very, very temporary. And then it dawned on me. I got to thinking. The garden is right next, you know, the garden's really close to the house. Why didn't I just put the pigs in the garden? Let them tool around in there until it warms up and then move them out to their places. And I'm liking that idea more and more. So, <laughs> I might uh, move them to the garden before I move them all the way out. Because uh, we still got mid-March, April, I mean, we still got like... Uh, a month and a half or so before we're even thinking about putting anything in the garden so all right hope you guys have a good night we're gonna take one last look at the maple syrup evaporator and then done everybody's in bed sleeping it's been a good day got a lot done but i needed to get more done all right guys have a great day thanks